these are here. If this is one rail, this is the other rail, here's the rod, then the magnetic field is into the slide. The rails have length D. So this is D. If the rod slides without friction on the rails, what is its speed when it leaves the rails? Well, why will it slide to begin with? Because there's a force on it. If there's no magnetic field, it will just sit there. Or if there's no current in it, even if there's a magnetic field and there's no current, it will also sit there doing nothing. But with the current in it and the magnetic field, there's a force. What is the force? It's I, L cross B. Now, L is in the plane, in the XY plane, and B is perpendicular. So the angle between them, between L and B, is 90 degrees. So the magnitude of F is just I, L, B. Sine 90. Sine 90 is 1. So it's just I, L, B. This is the magnitude of the force. What is its direction? We use the right hand rule. You put your four fingers along the current and then rotate them towards B. Now, the current is this way, okay? Rotate them towards B, you'll get a force. In this case, it's easier to do it in reverse. So, at least from the way I'm sitting, otherwise I would have to turn this around to do it. But from my position here, it would be easiest for me to, using my right hand, to find the force if the current happened to be in the opposite direction. So suppose the current is in the opposite direction. Then I put my four fingers along with the current, and then I turn them, since the field is into the page, I turn them into the page or into the slide, and my thumb points to the left. So if I reverse the current, the force is to the left. Therefore, if I don't reverse the current, the force must be to the right. So the force F, ILB, is to the right. It's a constant force. Being a constant force, then there's acceleration, and this will move to the right. So the question is, when it leaves the rails, what will its velocity be, or its speed? Now, since it's a constant force, what is the total work done until it, when it reaches here, when the rod reaches the end of the rails, what is the work done? Work done is the force times the displacement. Displacement is D. And the force is ILB. So it's ILBD. The work done goes into increasing the kinetic energy. So it's equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. The final kinetic energy is half mv squared. And the initial kinetic energy is zero. So I get half mv squared is ILBD. This means that v squared is 2ILBD over m. And so v is the square root of 2ILBD divided by m. 
So if I'm given all these quantities, if I'm given the current, the length of the rod, the magnetic field, the length of the rails, and the mass of the rod, I can calculate V. To find the time is simple now, because we know the acceleration. Acceleration is F over M. So it's I L B divided by M. That's the acceleration. And I know V. So I have V equals V0 plus AT. V0 is 0, because it starts from rest, plus A I L B over M times the time T. And V is given. So this means that T is V M over I L B. And I put for V this value here. So I can get the time. So if I'm given if I'm given the quantities, the current, the length, the magnetic field, the length of the rails, and the mass of the wire, mass of the rod, I can calculate the time. I can get the numbers. Otherwise, I can, if I'm just given the symbols, I have them in symbols here.